I think of the progression through the life cycle of a PDB as a bit like shifting through the gears of an old school, four on the floor roadster. You start with development, shift up into user acceptance testing, and next have to do some rigorous performance reliability and scalability testing before you're up to speed and ready to cruise along in production. Of course, you need to downshift too, for example, to take a copy or a clone of a production database, perhaps as a test master or a development master. A key requirement throughout is agility in the provisioning and management of pluggable databases or PDBs. It's extremely useful to be able to take a clone or a copy of a PDB, but there's far more to cloning than that. What's illustrated here is a typical lifecycle management or LCM situation in a hybrid cloud configuration. There are three production PDBs running in a highly efficient, consolidated environment on premises. Development and testing has shifted to the cloud. The requirement is to set up a golden master database in the cloud from which members of the development team can provision their own isolated environments. Let's consider the requirements in turn. The fundamental capability here is online cloning, also known as hot cloning. From the perspective of this video series, high availability, the key thing is to set up the golden master without taking an outage in production. This is why it's so important to be able to do a hot clone taken while the source PDB is still open read-write. Individual developers can provision their own snapshot clones from this golden master. Based on copy on write technology, these are highly storage efficient. They require negligible incremental storage and can therefore be provisioned very rapidly. Here, the high availability angle is the ability to create and destroy and recreate individual development environments very rapidly without impacting other developers. Refreshable PDB builds upon hot clone. Let's continue our discussion of the development and testing use case in which one of the development Golden Master databases is a clone of production. Production databases tend to be large. The larger they are, the longer they take to copy. If your production database is in the tens of terabytes scale, it will take in the order of days to copy it. You don't want to do that sort of thing very often, and therefore development copies of this sort of production database tend to be rather stale. The staler the database, the less relevant it is for development purposes such as debugging. That's why we built Refreshable PDB. Step one is to take a hot clone. That takes as long as it takes, hours, days, whatever. It doesn't really matter how long it takes since it doesn't involve an outage in production. Now, as the clone becomes stale, we can refresh it. We do this by applying all the transactions that have accumulated since the last refresh. Even if the source database is enormous, this incremental set will typically be much smaller. It's therefore going to be a much, much quicker process than the initial hot clone. Therefore, it's going to be much simpler to keep your production clones refreshed with recent data copied from production. The clone may be refreshed either manually or on a specific schedule, perhaps every 24 hours. The relevance of this capability, from the perspective of high availability, is the availability of freshly updated data from production in the development master. An invaluable capability for rapidly debugging data-specific bugs. Now we shift gears back into production to discuss online PDB relocation. Why do you want this? You want this because we want this. We needed this capability for Oracle Cloud database services, including Autonomous Database. I'll tell you why. Service level agreements, or SLAs, typically feature two conflicting aspects, performance and availability. If a database is in danger of violating its performance SLA, the solution is typically to move it to a server with more available processing power. However, to do so traditionally, involves an outage in the application. And this is likely to violate the availability component of the SLA. So the high availability requirement is to be able to relocate a PDB 
between servers without taking an outage. This is possible with online PDB relocation. Under the covers, we create a refreshable clone, top it up with the latest changes, and transparently switch connections. When that's complete, the original PDB is dropped. It's all accomplished with a single SQL statement. Seeing is believing. So let me demonstrate online relocation to you so that you can understand quite how powerful a capability this is and how simply it's performed, literally at the touch of a button. I'm going to switch to another window to demonstrate this to you. The lower main part of the screen is SQL Developer. In the left-hand panel, we see connections to our Arizona data center and to our PaaS estate in the Oracle Cloud. In the cloud, we have a PDB named Invoices. And on-prem, we have Inventory, OE, and Sales. At the top of the screen, we see a workload being applied to the OE PDB. These lines show response time for various business transactions. I'm now going to relocate that PDB to the Oracle Cloud without taking any downtime in the application. Specify the database link to the Arizona Data Center. Select the OE PDB to relocate. Enlist some parallel processes to optimize the transport of the PDB. 128 should do it. And we're ready to go. Notice that as the PDB is migrated to the cloud, the application keeps loading data without interruption. This is a hot clone. When the files have been copied, we need to apply some incremental redo to catch up with a live application. Only then are we ready to switch the connections transparently to the cloud based container. Notice the brief pause here while connections are drained from the source PDB and re established in the cloud. Notice also that the application doesn't fail. These connections spin briefly until we're ready to open read write in the cloud. OK, the relocation is complete. Now we see the OE PDB in the cloud based multi tenant container database. And when I refresh, Note that, of course, it's gone from the Arizona data center. And here in OE, now in the cloud, processing resumes as if nothing had happened. But a lot did happen, although all I had to do was push a single button. What I didn't have to do was suffer an application outage. I didn't have to change my application. I didn't have to change any connect strings. It just worked.